New first impressions video, it's been a while. Ormon Jane. Hey fragrance family, I'm Dave and I'm a fragrance bro. Of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Now, I haven't done a first impression video in a while, but I just got this from Ormon Jane, which is a tasting menu based on uh, several of their scents, actually 12 of their scents. And yesterday, I shot four videos doing first impressions of these. One of them didn't have audio, the first one. <laughs> so today we're gonna redo it. So this is my second impression of the first three. Ormon Jane sent this to me as well as two other fragrances and I'll get to those other fragrances and reviews later. But today we're gonna do the first three in this tasting menu. Now this is a really cool tasting menu. It's got 12 of their scents, as I said. It's not everything that Ormond Jane has, but it's a good representation of a lot of pieces in their line. They have all the samples here, as well as a little tasting menu, which I find really cool. It has a description and some of the notes here. So I'm gonna smell it, and I'm gonna give you my second impression and see what I, I smell here. So some of this I don't think is going to be very surprising for me, unlike the other videos. But stay tuned for the other videos and those are gonna be fresh and they'll be new to me at the time. Oh, there's my BMR. You can go and subscribe to BMR, Beast Made Reviews. All right, first fragrance here is called Taif and I forgot what this one was about. <laughs> so let's go ahead and spray this real quick. I remember really liking this line a lot. Okay, yeah. This one, I, I, there's rose in this. It's a nice bright floral scent with some sweetness there. I really like this a lot. It's not something I would wear. I think this, more, this leans more feminine. And if you're wondering why I breathe on this, it applies a little heat and kind of opens up the fragrance a little bit. Gives you a little bit more impression of what it would be like on your skin. Paper doesn't always do it justice, so that kind of gives it a little bit better uh, representation. Okay, that's really nice. Really nice, clean rose. I like that type of rose if we're gonna go with rose. The description says rose and soft spices. That's, that's what I got. Uh, ingredients, Taif Rose, uh, which I don't know if I've smelled that before. I'm not really sure. Saffron, dates, broom, and amber. Okay, so I don't really get the saffron as much. Uh, definitely rose. And I could see the dates maybe a little bit. It has that kind of sweetness to it. And I, I really don't get that much spice here. If it's spice, it's just kind of a softer type of spice. But it's really good. I like that a lot. Really nice. All right. Let's go to the second one here. The second fragrance is Tolu, and I'm guessing this is Tolu Balsam. And I think I remember what this was like. I think I remember liking this. Let me try it again. Yeah, okay. I did like this one a lot. So right away, there's like this vanilla type of presence. It's got this really nice, soft, cloudy quality here. Not necessarily musky, but in that kind of uh, vanilla type of powdery type of scent there. If I'm not mistaken, there's frankincense in this. And I think I remember that. So let's check the uh, description here. It says, Tolu, soft and sensual resinous amberesque. That makes sense. It is very soft. Let's see, ingredients, Tolu, yep, tonka bean. That's that note that I'm getting. Golden frankincense, yep, orchid and amber. There's not much orchid in here, but the orchid does kind of lend. It adds a little bit of that kind of floral quality. Orchid is beautiful. I like orchid a lot. Amber, maybe a little. Definitely Tonka and frankincense. I get that a lot. I smell Tolu in other scents. I'm not exactly sure what it is on its own though. So maybe I get most of that. I'm not really sure. All right. So I like that one a lot. I like those type of scents. Um, that one is very, very unique. Third one here is Ombre Royal. Ombre Royal. All right. This one I think I've tried before. I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, well, I know I've tried it before. I tried it yesterday. <laughs> but before my first impression, I believe that I tried this before. And if I'm not mistaken, this I made a review about it in uh, December, my Amber Month. And that one I talked about, it, had a, it kind of reminded me of Alien, like an upgraded Alien by Thierry Mugler. All right, let me smell this real quick. Okay, so I do get Jasmine. Beautiful Jasmine here. I like this a lot. Almost fruity. Beautiful. Wow, man, that is... That one gets me, that, for sure. <laughs> All right, Ombre Royale, uh, Royal. Spellbinding Spicy Amber, yeah, definitely. Ingredients, Amber, Jasmine, Orris Butter, Patchouli, and Ambroxan. And I do get the patchouli now that I smell this. There's like this woodiness there that some patchoulis have, like a dry woodiness. Ambroxan, I could see Ambroxan, definitely. Man, that is so good. I love that. 
With that, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Fragrance X. Fragrance X is an online reseller that sells thousands of legitimate products for a discounted cost. If you're considering buying a fragrance, definitely check out Fragrance X. I'll have a link down below to them as well as a coupon. But also check out Rakuten.com. Rakuten.com is a website that offers you a rebate with every purchase that you make through their website. They actually have a deal with Fragrance X that offers you a certain percentage in rebates just by buying through Rakuten. So I'll have a link down below to them as well. Definitely check out Fragrance X and Rakuten together. Great. All right, first three down. That was awesome. The second time around, they're even good. <laughs> Thank you again for watching. Stay tuned for my other videos for first impressions here. And if you like these first impressions, let me know. I'd love to do more. I haven't done them in a while. I'll see you next time. I'm David with the Fragrance Bros. Bye.